Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. You want to hear something really interesting? I was thinking about the other day. Uh, the our new Immerse 4K Cinema and Immerse Eclipse 4K Cinema screens uh, don't have any form of crystal in them. They're actually 0% crystal. The Crystal Edge and Digital One Crystal Screen Paints do have crystals, but this particular chemical doesn't have it, doesn't need it. But like I said, that's another, uh, it's another mind blower right there. All right, so with the, inner, the uh, Immerse screens are very easy to paint in, uh, very, very easy to do. You don't have to be a rocket scientist. You don't have to be a professional painter. Literally, your kids could paint the screen into low VOC, low odor, and eco-friendly, and they wash off with hot water and soap. Very, very easy to use. Now, a lot of people would think that with a black screen, you would have to have high amount of lumens. Some people are telling you you need 3,000, need 4,200 lumens to actually run a, um, to do a, uh, a black screen. Well, with our screens, you don't do that. You don't need that. As a matter of fact, at the bottom of the comments section, please check it out. I have a video of a 200 lumen projector that I'm actually doing in a demonstration just to show you how powerful the uh, lumens are. Not the lumens, but the, um, the gain is on these screens. These screens are using smart technology gain times seven, and these screens are fully weatherproof. You can take them outside. So let me show you how easy it is to paint a black screen. First, I'm going to back up and show you the ones I've already done in my shop. Uh, 140 inch 169, 158 inches 235.1 widescreen, and then we'll back over here and we'll see my 105 inch at 235.1. Then I got a couple of samples right there I'm going to be doing outside for demonstrations. I'm going to be doing one demonstration when we submerge in the screen underwater, also to scrubbing it with a Brillo pad, and also to um, uh, taking her outside around 7 50 in the evening. A lot of people don't do the demonstrations that we do because, well, they can't do it. All right, so we also have a new screen coming out. It is going to be something very interesting, and we're going to be putting this screen up against some of the top screens on the market, as in the DMP Supernova Elite Dark Star 9, Seymour AV 1.3, 1.2 MS DS. I think I got the DS one right, or I got it. I don't know if I got it right or not. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be doing some very interesting demonstrations on that new form of technology, and guess what? It's not black. It is very interesting, but it's not black. All right, so let's begin real quick and show you how easy it is to do. Now, as it comes to the roller, I had some people say, look, you got to use a foam roller, um, not a foam roller, but you got to use a, uh, a uh, nap roller, not a nap roller, a, yeah, foam roller. You got to use a foam roller. Not so, I would not use a foam roller because a foam roller will streak your screen like crazy. It will. Every time you stop, you're going to press uh, uh, um, um, your formula or paint into the screen. It's going to cause these imprints in your screen and it's going to mess it up pretty bad. So, nat roller is always the way to go. I love a nat roller. Always will use a nat roller. Doesn't make a difference if it's a cheap one. I would go with a pretty good one, but, you know, because good ones don't basically shut off into the screen. But, like I said, everyday roller, no big deal. Doesn't make a difference. You go up and down, side to side, no, no difference whatsoever. So, right here, we have a United States Postal Shipping Box. We're going to turn this into a jet black, high performance screen in no time at all. So, this is what we do we take our paint. We pour some of it on the surface, like so. That's it. It is a one coat application. And then all you do is just go back and forth, that's it. That's it, just like you paint the walls in your house, same thing. There is no way in the world you could mess this up. No way in the world you could ever mess this up. Your dog could walk across it. I wouldn't suggest your dog walking across your screen because you know you don't want to get his paws all I'll paint it up, but yeah, it's that easy to do. And you got people that'll come out there and say, oh, you gotta have this kind of roller, and you have to go in an up and down formation, and you know what, whatever, you know? Look, here we go. Doesn't make a difference. I can turn anything I want to a high performance black screen. I can paint this on drywall. As a matter of fact, that's plexiglass over there. I can paint this on canvas. I can paint this on, well, I'm doing cardboard right now. I can paint it on glass. We have a chemical, we have actually there's another version of this that is a spray-on um, uh, version of it. And a spray-on version is a little different. It, is tra it allows you to be to turn anything into a black, tra a black transparent screen. So you can see right through the screen. That chemical will punch your image right and hit the screen and come out on the other end. I'll post at the bottom too. So when it comes to black technology, 
we have nailed it. We have nailed it. Oh, also too, something I want to add real quick. I'm getting a lot of emails uh, from people asking me if I want a distributorship contract overseas. Uh, not at the moment. Right now, I'm happy with my U.S. contracts. I mean, my YouTube channel right now, the new one, might not be all that big, but people have to understand. I don't get paid off YouTube. I don't. I don't get paid off YouTube. I have contracts outside of YouTube where I get paid off of them. And I mean, I get paid. So it's not like, okay, I need, it's fantastic. I got people that come to watch my channel. And right now my channel's just starting out, so it's a little slow, you know what I mean? But um, with uh, I, my contracts offline, I'm, thank goodness I did sign a, a great deal of contracts uh, because, you know, like I said, I don't use YouTube. Um, I use YouTube for advertising. That's basically about it to show you guys exactly what we do. But outside YouTube, people understand that I run a, co a legitimate company and I have a lot of major co um, contracts with big companies that buy like five and ten gallons of paint from us. A lot of paint. A lot of paint. All right, so there we go. There's my cardboard screen. Oops, don't want this thing to fall over. There we go. Let's get the, it's not gonna be the best standing screen, but it stands. And then we're gonna turn on our fan. Right there. Get some paint on me. Make sure this doesn't buckle out too much. There we go. It's gonna be a weird looking screen, because it's cardboard. Would I suggest you painting on cardboard? No. I mean, it's up to you if you want to. But I mean, I wouldn't do it. Unless you double up the back of it, you get that really thick, heavy, um, I think it's called um, carbine cardboard. I forget the name of what they called it, but it's a very thick cardboard. All right, so we're gonna move all this away. We're gonna come over here to our projector, which is sitting around about 10 feet from the screen, about 10 feet from the screen. I think I saw my screen move over a little bit. I want to make sure this thing doesn't fall over. All right, yeah, looks like it's going to buck wild just a little bit. Turn off a minute. Yeah, just a little bit. So make sure this sits correctly. I spent the time to paint it. It doesn't bend too much. I'll lean it this way. I'll bring it around this way. For some reason, it wants to fold over on that one side. It wants to collapse. Like I said, I wouldn't suggest using cardboard as a screen. All right, that's a little better. Yeah, that one area was curving out this way, and it's gonna cause the screen to actually fall in. All right, that's basically about it. All right, so let me grab my, uh, turn my projector on so we can get started on this. Got it back up here for a minute and figured out where I put the remote control to the projector. Oh, here it is, over here. All right. All right. And you'll see it for yourself that the screen, we're gonna dry the screen right here in front of you. Remind you, my projector is not sitting right up on top of the screen. And you can see the larger screen behind it, the black screen behind it sitting about 10 feet back and this is the image we're picking up off of it as the screen's drying right in front of you. Mind you did this right off of cardboard. I paint these screens all day. screens dry extremely fast. The drying time on these screens are very, very fast. Fully lit environment. And you can coat anything. Glass, plywood, brick, cement, whatever you can think of. You can coat it with this stuff. Sorry about that, trying to grab my cell phone.
There you are. Now any areas that are coming up dark are areas that are still wet with the paint because as it starts off the screen it'll be really dark but then as the paint starts to dry it becomes brighter. And there you go. Paint and dry the screen right in front of you. Turn my fan off here. There you go. Very easy to do. It took me no time at all to paint this screen. This is actually a cardboard projection screen. Very easy to do. I can paint any surface I want with this. This formula is absolutely amazing. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Game. Uh, trying to back up here for a minute find my remote control. Uh, this right here is the Immerse Eclipse 4K Cinema Screen Paint. This stuff will allow you to turn anything you want into a high performance projection screen. Dries in no time at all. Low odor, low VOC, biodegradable, very safe for the environment. Washes off with hot water and soap and your kids could paint the screen for you. All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Check out the links below. We can actually buy, we have it in two quarts. We have it in one gallon. Uh, two quarts will paint up to a 100, a 100 inch, all the way to 135, 69. Uh, one gallon will paint a 100 inch, all the way up to 170 inch, 69. And then we have the new, a new 235.1 kits that come with the screen size. It comes with the projector. It comes with a sound bar. It comes with the custom 160 inch cut blackout on cloth. It comes with three quarts of so the paint, comes with the whole nine yards to get your whole entire theater off the ground and rolling. Again, thank you all for watching. Everyone